Once, Shyap Lagoon was clean and loaded with fish. However, around 50 years ago, the temperature began to change. The glacier shrank, exposing rocks that had been hidden for thousands of years. These rocks contained dangerous metals such as arsenic and lead. Air and water oxidized them, turning them acidic, and everything ran into the lagoon. The fish died. The village's plantations died too. They looked for ways to clean the river. They created wetlands to filter it. Shyap is saved for now. But we must stop CO2 emissions to prevent glacial retreat and other effects elsewhere. In Colombia, the Bioresilience Project has been taking mud samples from the bottom of Andean lakes. This mud contains tiny fragments, clues about how the environment has changed over tens of thousands of years. Corn and butternut squash pollen tell us about the first farmers. A rise in charcoal fragments gives us clues about past fires. Colombia is one of the most biologically diverse countries on Earth. The ecologists at Bioresilience are working to map the complex webs of interactions between species in different environments. Our species, too, is part of the forests. Peasant and indigenous communities are deeply woven into this fabric. They must be heard, too, if we want to protect biodiversity. How can sustainable land use and conservation ensure all species, all habitats and all communities thrive? In 1976, the UK suffered a very severe drought. In some areas of the country, the potato crop failed. Without its usual staple, the UK looked for alternatives. Pasta and rice were imported, and the nation moved on from potatoes and from its national dish, chips. The UK is expected to have drier and hotter summers in future. Scientists from Dry have been studying UK grasslands. They've demonstrated that areas with a large number of different plant species are more resilient to drought. How can we best cope with droughts in the future? And how else might climate change affect the UK? We need science to answer these important questions. And what about our chips? Imagine the world.